Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jackie. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Hey, you guys! So welcome back to my channel. Hey, you guys! So welcome back to my channel. So, if you are new, thank you for watching the video. And if you are my OG ride or dizzle, thanks for riding with me. So, in today's tutorial we are going to jump on the bandwagon well me i'm jumping on the bandwagon <laughs> and you guys are watching i will be doing a jackie aina miss jackie aunt jackie everybody loves jackie everybody she's like she would be like my mom she would be like my my internet mom because if any of y'all Follow me on my Instagram and y'all didn't see my story. Y'all know we have like that same personality going on. You know, I'm digging her vibes. Like that's why I really made, I really tune into her channel. Like a lot of times I'm like, dude, I can't afford this stuff. But her personality is a freaking one. Okay. So I'm not going to keep chip chip chatting because I'm on a time frame and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Got to get to church. We going to get this thing popping. It's not just I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm white chicks, right? So in this particular tutorial, she's trying out the new Maybelline Superstay Foundation with their new concealers because these babies are coming in all different shades now. This is the gold of drugstore foundation right now. At least I hope it is, because I haven't even tried this, so maybe I'm speaking a little yeah, but I've seen the results on her and it's le bomb, okay? Yes, it's true. Never a shade for me. Like not even a close shade, not even a highlight shade, not even closest. Like none. But they recently added five more shades of those, so today I'm gonna be trying those out, as well as their Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This is one of the newest products. As for the concealers, they now come in twelve shades, and the foundation is now comes yeah. in sixteen shades. Well, I think it always came in sixteen shades. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna be sharing my thoughts, demoing them, and give you guys the tea. That's what we do on the channel. Let's go right to the table. I got some place to go, so I'm gonna give y'all a little. I got some of those things. Yeah, told y'all we got this. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. You're totally welcome. But first, first, gotta make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Judging you. We judging you. Instagram. Instagram. I've got quite a bit of goodies to play in. We're gonna do some shade magic. We're gonna do some play in. We're gonna do some, you know, Maybelline sent me the last four of the Super State Foundation shades so that I can play around and test them. I have, oh my God, praise the Lord, a drugstore foundation with a pump. Oh my, I thought I would never see this day. Maybelline, I'm, I'm. Y'all, that's big. That's major because, like, uh, like most of the time when you have a drugstore thing, you have to pour it out, do that. But this you just gotta just pour it out. So that's yes, I had to pour it out. Okay. Hey guys, we gonna we gonna zoom this up a little bit, but because this is her first time impression, but we ain't finna be on here all day. So she her thing is warm coconut, and me and Jackie are mm, Jackie might be a little bit darker than me or lighter i don't even know but we're gonna go with warm coconut because me and her are in the same shade as nars for the amande so we're gonna roll with that so this is warm coconut in the shade 356 i'm gonna go ahead and put this little pump here we're gonna do three pumps um wait a minute before we even get to this real quick and primes and everything so yeah i got my lashes and my brows on already i'm gonna be trying this all this is gonna be mainly drugstore or like really cheap um i'm gonna try to make that the goal so for my primer we're gonna do this baby skin instant pore eraser i was looking for my smooth and blur but couldn't find it that's what happens when you don't put your stuff back where it belongs oh this is jelly Mm. It got a little bit of a Smashbox going on. If any of y'all like Smashbox, this is the vibes I'm getting from that. Let me kind of zoom in. I don't really like being so far away from the camera. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go here. Okay. So for her. Wait, we can get my forehead, okay? Gotta get the big dome jump. Gotta get the dome jump. I really like how this feels. I like this. Okay, so Jackie also takes the um what do you call this? The setting powder and she puts it on her face to set in the primer. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this little baby. It comes with a sponge here, so I'm just gonna use that for right now. Just we're just gonna pat that in there. Get that all over the face. And she said, this is helping with oily. I'm learning that I'm, I'm kind of like, I think I'm kind of oily because my skin be kind of leaking throughout the day. And I didn't really figure that out till today. So we're going to go ahead. She uses a, a little spatula thingy. I don't have that with me right now. And like I said, I'm kind of like in a rush. So I can't like really. I've had to go run and get my, my my little dirty busted kind of mirror a little bit. I'm like, oh, yeah, I just got my um my nose pierced not too long ago. And I'm sitting here playing, being crazy with this. But yeah, let me go ahead and finish. Let's let's finish up Jackie. Uh Jackie. And this is my first time doing this type of stuff. So her thing, her voice go a little bit fast. But y'all just forgive me, okay? Because in the end, hopefully, you know, it's gonna turn out somewhat like hers. But you know, I ain't gonna be like Jackie because you know. She's, she's, she's Jackie. Okay, so don't come for me in my comment section. Just enjoy my tent. Let's continue. Did forget to mention this earlier. This is a silicone-based foundation. And oh, I've been seeing a lot of talk that. about the foundation oxidizing. So what I'm going to do to prevent that, because that normally happens a lot with drugstore foundations, is... I'm going to try to keep the layers to a minimum, even though I want to add more, like a full two pumps. This is my second pump, by the way. Uh -oh. I'm only going to use half of that, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it like this. I really don't want to OD on the amount of product I use, because I feel like sometimes that is what, we have to go up to my, and I'm trying to look like a 12 out of 10. I'm not trying to look like an 8 out of 15, okay? So far, sheesh, that's bad. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that, y'all. 12 out of 10. Shut it down. Hang. Yeah. I think the coverage is absolutely phenomenal. I think so the coverage too. Coverage looks freaking flawless. I mean, what? Like, what other drugstore you know doing this? I'll wait. It's like, I don't, because I'm just. This is gorgeous. Like, I don't want to say satin matte either. Mm. Oh. She's looking pink on camera. Alright, but even though she can do this stuff, I learned this stuff from. Her, sometimes she do it in the Aaliyah J. And I cleaned it, it's just, it's damaged. I mean, not damaged, but you know what I'm saying. Go over it with your beauty blender and just push that into the skin. Make sure it's like damp. You know, this, is, this was wet earlier, so it's pretty damp enough. And just make sure you push that in there. I'm gonna push this down here so y'all can still see what I'm doing. If y'all like this tutorial, I might come back for more. I actually like, I like doing my makeup. It's just kind of hard doing it on camera and stuff. Especially because I got my kids, y'all. My husband, he, very sweet of him to, you know, 
I'll help keep the kitties quiet while I'm trying to record during the daytime. That's why I gotta do it at night because when they sleep, that's mommy time. That's my time to shine. Hello. All right, let's get back to Aunt Jackie. Beans. Oh, it's got goji berry in it. Why am I smelling like goji berry has? What was I expecting? <laughs> I did it too. You know what goji berry smells like. It's supposed to diminish the appearance of dark circles, fine lines, as well as puffiness around the under eye, which I do tend to get right. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, not, that's yeah, actually yeah. just kind of like my eye shape. I'm going to try the shade tan. I feel like tan will be a pretty good highlight. I do have to say I love the sponge tip applicator. Although it's not really the most sanitary if you're using this like in a makeup kit, I think that it just really makes application super easy. I really like this color. I'm going to wait to blend it out though to see it. To make sure I it's like not this color kind of want to go a little crazy with it. Creamy, but it's also not super watery either. It kind of reminds me of Select Cover for Bat, but in that form, that form, you know, instead of like a squeezy chew. So far, it does look like it gives quite a bit of coverage. The darkest color is hazelnut, and it's just a little too close to my skin tone, I think. I feel like this dries down a little bit faster than the foundation does. Definitely feeling like a matte concealer. I am getting a little bit of a tingle under my eye. I don't know. I go a little bit crazy. Effect, so. Like something that's supposed to happen. It very well could be like the depuffing though. Sometimes products that depuff like eye creams and concealers do that. Maybelline, you might have just did something. Yes, I did that. Concealer is great. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go on. This looks really good. I can honestly count on one hand all of the drugstore low-end concealers that are actually worth your time and money. Okay, I don't always get to try them because they don't usually come in my shade. Nick, oh, this is nice. The first one. I mean, yes. They deserve an award for that. Okay, trophies. I like pushed so, the little it, thing up like just to see how it worked earlier. It but hand. now that I'm putting it on, oh my god! Shade you can think of. I low-key feel like. Maybelline came to do what the girl should have did with this concealer, though. Like, I'm really yes. feeling like, I get it. I see what the hype is all about. I do see somewhat of, like, the radiant matte finish. I'm going to put oh. on a dab, a smidge. I'm going to put on a dab, a smidge uh -oh. more. Only, not because I feel like I need the coverage. I just, I don't know. I just really enjoy blending that out. And I, I do, too. I want to experience it again. Don't copy the though. experience, but I... We so going double time, y'all. Him and Sam. My concealer is self care. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, that's definitely a tingle, though. That's definitely a burn. I feel I felt it again as I applied, and I definitely feel like the concealer has kind of helped. That was my little out the foundation. <laughs> contour stuff for I don't even know what she used for contour because I guess it wasn't important. She didn't mention it, but I'm gonna be using the dark. No, I'm gonna be using Cool Earth. This is their foundation stick from Anastasia. Or as I love Tierra Walker says, Anastasia. <laughs> I love when she says that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and contour. Right there. Okay. Yes, because Aunt Jackie got her lines. So guys, this is kind of like, you know, it's kind of a little overwhelming because she's going at a little faster pace. But it's all good. Get this brush from NYX because I, I like how she's using this blending brush. But for right now, I'm going to have to just, oh, right now I'm going to have to go with the e.l.f. stipple brush. I'm going to have to go with my little here. Center of my face. Out of all the brands out there on the drugstore, Maybelline is one of the very few. I mean, my very first foundation I ever tried was Dream Matte Mousse. I feel like I usually can kind of count on them when it comes to complexion products, just because they are like one of the only ones who kind of get it right. I mean, they def there's definitely room for improvement. Like we'll get into- Yes, yeah, so Aunt Jackie giving me the, giving me everything I need. She, like I said, I'm gonna have to go and find that brush from Elf so I can get my blend game more better. Take a little bit of hazelnut, the dark yes. color, and apply that around my mouth area, aka my mustache. This tends to be the area where I crease up the quickest, so I always kind of like add an extra reinforcement there. Okay, so unpowdered, unfinished makeup, I do feel like in person and on camera, my skin, actually, better off. I know about that mustache, true. I mean, I don't think I had no mustache. Y'all got mustache? mustache? Yes, Jackie Iron, she doing it for the women of color, okay? She is doing the dang on thing for the women of color, girl. I love you. You you shutting it down on the YouTube, and I just, I, I can't get enough.
camera. My skin looks absolutely flawless. Yes. I do feel like I could perfect the overall color of my complexion just a tiny nice. bit, just because on camera I'm still feeling like it's looking. Hey, I can just walk out the door like this. Little. The easiest way for me to kind of like balance that out is taking either a yellow powder or a beige translucent powder and setting my makeup. I'm gonna use this one from Danessa Myricks. It's her Evolution Powder in the color number two. It is a super finely milled powder. It looks white on camera. It's definitely not. I don't have that. I was trying to do all drugstore except for the Anastasia because I just love how that looks. Um, so I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me and the color medium 30. She said long is like a yellow banana type of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and with that. Like, it is like a buttery okay, off-white yellow. Uh, Miss Clover from Ciate. Mind you, she's just announced her next collab with Pixie Beauty. Congratulations, Chloe. This oh, is more me. this is her pretty fun. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way around the mouth because that's what I think she did. We're gonna bar off some from here. Bring it over here. So the kind of like a Casper goes, but this is all going to work out pretty well, I hope. Hope I didn't kind of mess myself up here. Okay, so Jackie Ina has her makeup thing of this lady, Chloe, Miss Chloe, but I don't have that. So I have Urban Decay Smoke Palette that I got when Ulta was having a sale. So I'm going to be using this color for mine instead of the one she has because I don't have it. So let's continue this thing. This color here, which is like a dark gray brown. I feel like a teacher right now with this brush. It's called Marron. Marron. And I'm this going is called to back door. pop that. Sneak me through your back door when your parents sleep. Ben, they don't know we creep. Ben, ben, ben. Okay. Um, yeah. Hey, I had to, um, I had to make up a, a song for this back door. Like that's just so like sneaky and sexy. Like sneak me through the back door. Sneak me through that back door. Okay, okay, come on. <laughs> we're gonna take back door and we're gonna do exactly what she's doing with Marron, Marron, Marron. And this is Alta's base shadow brush. So we're gonna go ahead and take that little thing there. We're gonna be careful because this is dark. This is very dark. Gotta be careful with that. I'm gonna be looking here, guys, so I don't look kind of crazy to cray cray. In my crease area, I really like the quality of Ciate shadows, but yeah, their shadows are like super pigmented. They're not dusty, and so far, no fallout, which is great. That's always wonderful. Then I'm sweeping around the edges of that color to soften it out. Don't add any more color though. Just sweep, girl. Just sweep. This is it. Once I have it on, let me step back a little bit. Once I have it on, so I use my Morphe, I mean not Morphe, this is Anastasia. This came in the um, the Modern Renaissance palette thingy. But I also have this one, which came with the Real Techniques. And this is the Deluxe Crease br Brush. I'm gonna also kind of smooth this out with that. But like she said, you know, I'm not gonna add any more. I'm just kind of smooth out what I already put in there, so. So far, okay, but I think I kind of went a little too much. You want to see it? Okay, Miss Miss Aunt Jackie, what's next? These color tattoo eye chromes. I don't even know if these are still out, and I've had these for a while, but I'm going to take the color Electric Emerald and apply that, where do you think? On the center of my eye, because what are we doing? A halo eye. It's like... <laughs> That is like yes, give it to me. Okay, now I don't have that. I have NYX lingerie, their eye tint. I had this for a long time. That's why it's so funny because she said she had hers for a while. I had this for a while. It's like a limey green. I don't like this. I'm kind of scared of this color. That's why I got it because I want to try something. So Jackie pushes that button. Like you know, she makes us women of color say, "Girl, yes, you could wear." lime green yes you can wear light blue yes you can wear white lipstick with silver like i don't know that's my youtube <laughs> we're gonna do the next lingerie and we're gonna plop that right in the center like she said because we're gonna see y'all hello which is this matte green from chloe's palette and i'm just gonna stamp that in and ooh, that's doing exactly what i wanted to do on top of that 
turkey and I'm, I'm gonna okay guys so what I'm, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this side and then I'm gonna do it to the other side I'm gonna pause and come back so we're gonna kind of dab this and this also comes a part of the set guys with the brushes and everything from Alta which is the real techniques line so we're gonna just spread this right here in the middle we're not gonna try to go windshield wiper we don't want that just pat 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 show we let pat we pat our, our eyeshadow in her I can't keep up with her speed unfortunately like I can't like be like boom 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 trying to hold the mirror trying to do this trying to leave. I can't do all that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right back into this Urban Decay smoke thing and I was like you know what when am I going to use this palette so yes I, I'm using it now so we're gonna go in and she used that shade so we're gonna use loaded lock and loaded baby bam 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 so we're gonna use this green we're gonna take the Morphe M408 408 brush we're gonna dab it in there Mm. I don't know why I keep looking here. Sorry, guys. You have to dab on them. Bam! Every time you dab, bam. Alright, so. She kind of did a little upside down, whoopsie daisy kind of thing. Beauty, so which is this thing. matte green from Chloe's palette. Ooh, oh, I'm just going to stamp that It's in having that same effect. I love it. Exactly I love it. what I wanted to do on top of that. Nice. Nice. Wow, oh, yes. Look at Aunt Jackie. She just got all the tricks to the trade, boo. You see that? Bam, guys. Oh, Jackie, taking us to school for free. How about that? Right, so we're going to take back door. The sexy back door. We're going to take back door again. And we're going to go ahead and go around the edges like she said. You know, kind of smooth things out a little bit. So back door. We're going to dab, 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 dab. Okay. And we're going to go around it. Moran again and blending out around the edges just to soften the look up a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my version of oh, soft eye like makeup. This. Like, how are you schooling us for free? Like, that's what I want to know. Like, how are you, how do you just got it like this? Like, like you just got the sauce, boo. You saucy. I'm about to take a million pictures. Like, people be all like, are you taking selfies? Oh, I'm, it's about to be lit. <laughs> I'm taking just a smidge of that Age Rewind Concealer in Hazelnut to kind of clean up around my inner eye. I feel like sometimes the matte dark shadows can get a little carried away there. I've never, I've never heard of this trick before. Have you all heard of this? Like, you know, you kind of go. And I'm blending that in with a Sigma Large Fluff E50. This is the perfect brush for this fluff Her lash mom. and whip lash. So far, I feel like this hasn't oxidized or gotten darker any more than it Like, can we just pause for Jackie Ina's eyelashes? Like, her bottom lash game is just too on point. And then, like, even when she doesn't even wear eyelashes, they're on point. Like, how are you blessed with such beautiful natural eyelashes? We need the answers, Sway, okay? We need the answers, because I ain't, ain't, I don't have naturally. Beautiful eyes. Sample size mascara from, what is this? From Lancome that I got from Ulta. Y'all, this is the business, okay? It will give you some really pretty eyelashes. This is the business. I love it. We're going to go over. So we're going to go over our eyelashes with this. You can do the eye. I'm going to use this. Super Shock Cheek from ColourPop, and it's in the color Cheerio Berry. So I see with this, you have to kind of use your finger. And it's somewhat like this. I feel like it would look like this. This is looking gorgeous. Oh my God, what a stunning color. No. Okay, we blended out the blush. We don't like no clown no more, you know. I trying to have a clown face going on. So I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Contour. So it comes with the contour, the blush, and the highlight. I think that a lot of people just automatically assume my diamond glow powders would be pushed with that Sephora launch, and they are not. Ooh. They are still exclusive to artistcouture.com. Oh, yes, Jackie. So here's the point, okay? Here's the, here's the message, message we're trying to convey. convey. 
When you turn that head. Wow! Do you see all of this? This just looks like I tithe. This just looks like I pray every Sunday. This just looks like I meditate every morning. This just looks like I'm a good person. Do you see what? And we all know. Look, my skin looks great. Women, we all know we rich. Okay, rich, rich. But this highlight though. That highlight is popping. I'm going to have to get to that. But for right now, we're going to pop with this. Pop. I'm going to also go into bed from after this video, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and snatch my nose real quick with this contour. Yes. And y'all, I, I didn't know if this highlight was going to come true. But it came on true. Don't don't mind my little, my little BB edges. Okay? Don't mind them. We'll see you all the time. Okay, guys, so here we go. I use the Mario Badescu because I don't have Too Faced thing. I have the Too Faced all nighter, but I don't really like it too much. I have the Mario Badescu facial with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. But I also have the MAC Prep and Prime, so I use kind of both of them. First of all, because it smells. Ah! Amazing. Okay, where did it like where did they come up with who comes up with these ideas? It just smells so freaking amazing. So no, I'm not really much a fan of this color per se, but because it's a Jackie and I tutorial, we're gonna get down, we get down. But I'm gonna line my my lips first with the ColourPop um leather, I believe it's it. No, ColourPop pitch, I'm sorry. And then we're going to take NYX Lingerie and Cabaret Show. And we're going to put that over the top of this, baby. Ooh, I'm going to be messing with these tonight. I'm going to take the color Amazonian and just because I have to smell it. That's I'm sorry. See. I not the same I exact can't. color she has. Everything that I've but used I'm trying to get close so to good. Like okay. Okay, guys, and so Miss Jackie, Aunt Jackie, she starts talking about, you know, the oxidation and things like that. But I gotta get out of here. I gotta start running out the door for church. Literally, like, run out the door. Um, but this is the finished look, guys. So I hope you really, really enjoyed it because I did. Um, this is definitely different for me, but I love how it turned out. I even got my little Aztec thing on that she has on. I love that. Like, I need that in my life. I'm going to wear my braids down. I'm not going to have my hair up. Guys, this is the finished look. Let me take some... So don't ever think also guys that you have to go out here and buy this really expensive makeup like you can get a nice look with drugstore I only use like maybe one or two things that was high end which was the NART which was the um the Anastasia contour but you can easily go do black opal sticks I, I have, still have my black opal it's just a little too dark for me but you can do black opal you can use any kind of thing and I also like to do bronzer sometimes but I'm not going to do it today you can use anything for contour so Yes, guys, hopefully you all enjoyed this tutorial with Aunt Jackie, me trying to impersonate Aunt Jackie. And um, let me guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Would you like to see makeup tutorials in general? Because I love playing around in makeup. Um, you know, just let me know. And yes, thank you for tuning into my channel. And I will see you all on the next video.
as she well as for a concealer it's supposed to have a radiant fresh y'all that's what i'm it. talking about with the z y'all y'all know okay if y'all follow me if you don't know now you're gonna know i say z with everything shutting it down don't play says yes this is this is this is my mama this is my mama in the internet okay she 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 already i love it come on let's finish